Hi, I'm Robbie from RBC and today's how-to video we're going to talk about tubeless wheels and how to maintain them and how to make your rims tubeless. Uh, to start out with, there's a few things you need. Um, some good quality uh, tubeless sealant. Um, it's very important to make your tires tubeless. You need to have a tubeless solution like this. Um, I like to use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Um, of course, some good quality rim tape, a tubeless valve with a removable core, uh, a valve core remover, some tire levers, of course, a new tire that we're going to cover, a hand pump, and if you have it, a compressor. So if you look at the rim, you'll see um, you've got a whole lot of holes here. These are to access the spokes. Um, you, you will have a, either a count of uh, 32 or 28 or 24 depending on what your manufacturer specified but you will also have a, a hole for the valve as you can see this hole in this is smaller and the spacing is uh, uh, less between the two spoke holes so you typically look for that that is where this will go so this is your valve um, so to prep the valve you need to just take off the little piece of aluminium um, that holds the seal on it, unscrew that off there. This will then insert straight into the, the hole. And as you can see, as, as you tighten it, it'll pull it tight and create a seal. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we seal all the holes in the rim. So a couple of things you need to be careful of if you're converting a tire or a wheel that's, that hasn't been uh, tubeless in the past and you're looking to make it tubeless, you might see that a spoke is actually being cut too long and it's sticking out there. If it's going to stick out of these, um, it's actually going to uh, make a hole in your uh, rim strip and will obviously not work for to be tubeless. So just check those. What I like to do is take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, spray it on uh, my little rag, take off the old rim strip, clean the rim just to make sure that the new tape will actually seal properly and stick nicely onto the rim. We've made sure that the tape we've bought fits exactly shoulder to shoulder on the rim. So now to apply, we need to, I like to do two complete uh, circumferences of tape that just ensures that the tape is actually seated and it's nice and tight. So once you start it, I like to give it a little bit of a, some tension so that it makes sure that it sticks properly. As you can see now, we've put the rim tape on and you notice how it covers from shoulder to shoulder and how it goes into the curvature of the rim um, and seals all those holes. Now we're going to take our little seal pick. We're going to identify the hole uh, where the uh, valve has to go. We're going to push it through from this side, the seal pick, because we want to make a little bit of a hole in the other side. And now you'll see the hole that we've made there is where I'm going to now put my valve in it's gonna go in from this side straight in like that as you can see it's gone straight in through the tape and I'm gonna put the little seal on it that it comes standard with followed by the little nut and that's just there to clinch it up and pull it tight so you create a seal between the rim and the rubber jacket on the actual valve okay so now we've fitted our um, rim uh, tape, we fitted the uh, valve, we've ensured it's nice and tight, I'm going to remove my valve core, there it is, put it aside, I can put my rim down, and now I can focus on my tyre, take my tyre out, if it's a new tyre, I want to ensure that there is no release agent on the inside of the of the tyre, so when a tyre is made uh, in the factory, they actually put a release agent in the molds and the release agent sometimes can't, uh, is not cleaned out correctly and if the case is, if there is a release agent in there still, it can actually cause a problem with your um, sealant. So what I like to do before I put my tire on is again take my isopropyl alcohol, give my cloth a little bit of a spray and just gently wipe inside the tire just to ensure that all that release agent 
has actually been cleaned off. Just a quick reminder, not all tires are tubeless. Please look for a manufacturer's mark on the tire that says tubeless ready. Also uh, be sure when you purchase a tire that you've got it at the right size for the rim that you want to apply it. If you're buying the wrong size tire, it's not going to fit. So uh, before you do that, just make sure that you've got all your uh, correct um, figures and details. All right, so to put it on, we've got our rotational direction and we've got the tire and everything's ready. Now we just need to fit it. Okay, if you follow what I'm going to do, I put my rim and I put the tire together. I lift the rim um, and I lift the tire over the valve and I can actually seat this by hand. If you are a little bit concerned that you can't seat it by hand, uh, just take some of your tire levers. Just remember to be very cautious with your tire levers. Even if they are plastic, you don't want to damage your rim. So now that we've seated one side of the tire onto the rim, we're going to proceed to take our tubeless sealant, give it a good shake. Um, and let's check the manufacturer's requirements. Uh, for this uh, wheel, uh, it says 100 mil or more. So I'm actually going to open the top and I'm going to pour in, there's 200 mils in this, so I'm going to put half of it in here. Okay, we got it in now. So um, now what we're going to do is make sure that the rim is seated on the other side and then we're going to proceed to pump up uh, the tire and set the bead into the sidewall. So if you want to take a close up here, you'll actually have a look and see the sealant. It floats around the inside of the tire. How it's going to work is this latex will sit inside the tire and it will actually form a, a seal uh, against um, the tire to prevent any uh, air escaping. And by staying liquid, anytime there is a hole, the sealant will actually be forced into the hole and the chemical reaction will occur which will actually cause a plug. The sealant will plug the hole. Um, so the, the sealant can plug the hole to about three millimeters. And I know with this, with this manufacturer, they add some little beads which are in here already that can then seal up to six millimeter hole. So really good quality sealant um, and it'll work really, really well for any ride. So uh, by adding 100 mils, a little bit more than 100 mils of sealant, we've effectively sealed this tire and will be good for at least six months of riding provided that you don't have any punches or anything in the interim. As you notice, I actually left this um, valve at the six o'clock position and I've done that actually on purpose because when I get to the top, when I turn this all the way around, you'll see the valve is going to be at the top, it will prevent any sealant from leaking out. So here we go. I'm going to start just by adding, gently putting the, the tire bead into the, into the rim, right round, and we're back at the top here. So there's no sealant going to leak out. I'm going to make, need to take my tire lever here. Just put the last one, last bit of the bead finally into the rim. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to take the valve core. I'm going to insert it. I have greased it. I do recommend a little bit of lube or some grease on it before you put it in. Just tighten it by hand. It doesn't need to be super tight. All right, so now we can go to inflating our tire. So um, with this tire, uh, we can, there's two methods we can use. We can either use a hand pump or we can use our compressor, our compressed air. Um, I'm going to use the compressed air and I'm going to start slowly. And why I don't want to rush this is because I don't want the, the, the rim to seat with a big bang. It is going to seat very hard. So if you look here, you'll see the tire seated, but not seated over here. So in order for me to get it seated correctly, I just need to apply a little bit more pressure. And you can see slowly but surely it will be seating itself until it makes a pop. And it always scares me. <laughs> there we go. All right, so what I suggest you do once you've inflated your tubeless tire, it is going to be over the pressure that you should be riding at, but ride it for a little bit. Just let it, let the, uh, the sealant spread it around the tire and actually create a seal all the way around. And then you can go ahead and adjust the pressure that you want to, 
to set it down um, so that it's comfortable and secure to ride. Okay, there you have it. We've prepped our brand new rim. We've put uh, a sealant onto it. We've seated our new tire and we're ready to go. Thank you very much for uh, watching and enjoy the trails.